I found a Nest.js config library that is doing a much better job than the official Nest library. And to be honest, I wish I had this three years ago when I started using Nest.js. And I'm going to show you how easy it is to load, validate, parse, and even organize all your configurations. So I will be putting my environment variables in a .env file, but this library also supports YAML files, JSON files. And by the way, the name of the library is Configify. Configify? But I think it's pronounced Configify. Yeah. You can install it with NPM. Then you just have to import the config module in your root module. Then you create a configuration class with the configuration decorator from the library. And you create a .env file where you add your environment variable. And in the config class, you declare a field for the environment variable you want to load. And you decorate it with the value decorator with the name of the environment variable. Now you can inject the configuration class anywhere in your application and use the config value in your code logic. I really love how simple this is, but that's not even all of it. Let me show you how you can organize your configuration in a very nice way. Let's say that you have a configuration for some features. You can add a bunch of environment variables for that, but you don't want to mix them with the authentication configurations we created before. The cool thing is that you can create a separate class just for your features configuration and only load the relevant environment variables. By default, environment variables are loaded as strings, but in this case, we want the class field to be booleans. So there is a very simple way to achieve this. You can pass an option property with a parse function to the value decorator. In our case, you can create a very basic function to convert a string into a boolean and pass it to all Boolean values. And this is a very powerful feature. You could even like parse values to date, arrays, or even object if you need to. But it gets even better than this. Now, let's say you have some application configuration with an admin email and a timeout value, for example. You can create an app config class and load the values. And because the timeout is a number, you can add a parsing function to it. But this time, not only we want to make sure that the configuration values are present, but we also want the timeout value to be a positive number. And we want to validate that the admin email is a valid email string. You might already be familiar with the class validator library, but if you're not, it's a validation library that uses decorators. And as a result, it integrates very well with Nest.js. Using the is not empty decorator from class validator, you can validate that the timeout and email configuration are always set. You can add an is email decorator to validate the email, and you can add an is positive decorator to validate that the timeout property is always a positive number. That way, if you forget to add one of those environment variables, or you put an invalid value for one of them, the application will simply not start. You will most likely need a configuration module when you implement authentication. You can watch this next video where I go through the implementation of an entire authentication flow step by step, and I'll show you how to generate a token, how to control access, and how to use the most popular Node.js authentication library.